Oh, what else might Look, guys, we're not gonna get a Coca. We're not gonna get a Coca Cola brand deal. Fuck out of here. We're working on that right now, bro. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. whole bit is about like trans mashed potatoes and shit. What the fuck? Get the fuck out of here. What's more about pronouns? What's up, everybody? Welcome back. This is season two, episode one of Only Getting Younger. Yeah. We got our Jersey Day going on. This is sheer coincidence, according to Carlos. Yeah. With his uh, apparently Super Bowl winning Dan Marino jersey. <laughs> this idiot thinks Dan Marino won the perfect season. Um, we got man. PJ back behind the desk. Yes, sir. And uh, we got a little bit of a special episode for you guys today. We're going to be trying some stand-up comedy on you guys. So uh, we're not going to get any live reactions, obviously, but bear with we us. We got each other, man. Yeah, yeah, we got each other. So so before we get are into Are we allowed this, to heckle or? No, I, I, that's what I want to bring up. Do we act like an actual audience or do you guys actually want to? Nah, no heckling. Like, ruin your no shit, heckling. You know no heckling. No, no, it's definitely it's, no heckling. But I'm like, it's going to be dry, man. But do we, no. do we, do we make it more conversational no or do feedback. we just say like the, how do you guys want to go about it? Well, there's, oh. no, there's no crowd work. There's only three hey, of us. Listen, Can't be like, hey, where are you from, buddy? I'm well, no, 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 no. But I mean like after you say a joke, you want us to like talk about it or like you just want to do your shit and then we talk about it. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah. Do the, no, do the set and then we'll talk. And then, and then we'll discuss it. Yeah, but I mean, we'll, we'll laugh. And I'm, like, t- we'll no, I'm telling you right now, though, I'm not giving you a fake laugh. You better make. No, it of laugh. course not, man. All right, all right, all right. Okay. All right. It's gonna be very uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> I love this shit. I love, I, I love being uncomfortable, bro. Right? I love it too. Oh man. Uh, I'll, I'll, I forgot to uh, call us in on the socials, but follow us at what, what, OGY what yeah. underscore podcast on Instagram. Yeah, yeah, stop procrastinating. Let's get to the business. Subscribe right. to the YouTube, all that shit. Matt, you nervous? <laughs> He's nah, shitting I'm his pants. I'm nervous. Man. And bro, we're two, <laughs> hey, we're two audience members, bro. You're fucked. <laughs> You know you have to do it. Too, well, right? we gotta give out dates. Yeah, of course we gotta oh, give out. Right. We gotta give out dates. I love this shit. Though. Yeah. So everybody, if you can come to Miami Improv this Wednesday, the twenty fifth, uh, I'm gonna be going up for five minutes of stand up <laughs> at eight p.m. I think. Uh, say Matt Valent at the door, and you get it for free. Uh, Carlos and PJ are gonna try it another day too, right? Yeah, of course. Yeah, I'm supposed yeah. to do Dania in February. So it's gonna be fun. All right, yeah. we're all gonna try out our bits. So fuck it, here we go. You guys ready? You want me to MC you in and be like, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Our next person. Let's hide it, let's hide it. <laughs> yeah, should, yeah. I, should I like walk in you gotta, like the corner or something? Or? If anything, just pop up like into the camera. Okay, like, okay, okay. You can't get like around Carlos, yeah. you know what I mean? Go but ahead. yeah, you can just cover yourself. Yeah, yeah. All right, uh, the next uh, comedian we have coming up is his first time. Uh, please give a round of applause for Matt Valent. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. How's everybody doing? How's everybody doing? Woo! It's great to see you guys tonight. Thank you for having me. Listen, Miami is a crazy, funny place. I've been here my whole life. I love it here. And uh, let's be honest, I know most of you guys have the same racist parents that I have. Just going to be honest with you guys. But I do love to play this game uh, whenever I'm watching the news or whatever may be on. Uh, Basically, what goes on is, you know, when there's a murder, when there's a crime, something like that. We all play this game where we guess the ethnicity of the criminal. I know you guys all do I know Buddy over here in the first row does that shit. Come on, I know. I can tell you're racist as fuck. I can tell. So what I like to do is I like to guess if this man or woman has any sort of Latino blood in him at all. So typically, you know, if it's like a bombing or some crazy shit like that, you can pretty much guess like white guy or you can guess like some Middle Eastern guy. But why does nobody ever guess Cuban or Latino? Nobody ever guesses that shit. And I'll tell you right now. Because we all had crazy Cuban moms that didn't let us hang out with terrorists when we were kids. <laughs> they wouldn't. Have, I'm serious. Everybody is more afraid of their Cuban mother than becoming a terrorist. The worst thing you can do to your, to your Latin mom is let them down by either being a drug dealer or being a terrorist. And I don't know which one's worse. So that's all I gotta say. And I know that was probably terrible, but. I'm going to mix it up a little bit better. I just love that you open that shit with, oh, yeah, my parents are racist. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, that's your whole set? They're also not. That that's not my whole set. That was just the first one that I have, like, memorized. Oh, that was awesome, uh, dude. And so also, I'm, gonna, I'm obviously going to, like, make it a lot better. But, like, 
Yeah, I see the. I get your premise. I get your premise. I'm gonna add a lot I mean, of Cuban emotion into it. Hey, man. bits, bro. There's comedians that literally sharpen and perfect bits over three years of time. Like that's yeah. oh, dude, that was that's horrible. Cool. That's what, like you would consider that, that you consider that a rough draft. You consider yeah. that a rough draft, but no, you could. I'm totally fine with being embarrassed. Oh, I like how you call whoever in the front just racist. Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm totally expecting there to be a random guy that I could just call racist. Like that's gonna go over well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, crowd work is a big part of it. Okay, the whole premise of nah, we'll get you guys go and then we'll talk shit about our jokes. Wait, you're done for your entire set. Like, cause imagine you have to go up to the improv and do. Cause I had timed it because I might. We probably should have timed it. I it was about like a minute. Yeah, yeah, no, I have I have other bits as well. No, but you I don't mean, want to do the other bits. You could also stretch that one out more. You That's the thing. You got 100 percent stretch. Yeah, yeah, work out. You yeah. gotta work out on timing. My shit. my whole thing is is. There's, I have a way that I'm going to walk in a certain joke with it. I'm going to get into this one, and then I have a follow-up, a third joke that's going to finish me off. And that had seven minutes when I timed it. Okay. So, you don't want to do the other bits yet? Nah. It, it's not going to Because I didn't mind. I'm, no, I'm going to steamroll the entire set. Like, you know what I mean? Do it now. Let's hear it. Okay, well, you, you're going to talk me in? I'll talk you in. And then Carlos goes last. Okay. Woo! Man, I'm sweating. That was horrible. Yeah, I feel like it's going to be mad and comfortable. I, I'm just I don't care. That's who gives a oh, fuck. Wait. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, he's tall, he's skinny, he's handsome, he's from Long Island. Check him out, and you might remember him from Workaholics. His name is PJ. Hey, what up, everybody? Yeah, thank you, thank you. Uh, so this is actually my first stand-up set, so I'm trying to be careful with like, what I say. Like, you know, everyone gets offended by everything nowadays, you know? Uh, my pronouns are he and him, but when I'm in deep thought, it's he and hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Who's that guy thinking really hard in the corner? Oh, you mean hmm, <coughs> over there? <laughs> yeah. I don't know his name, but I know his pronouns are conditional based on how hard he's thinking. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I was born male, I identify as male, <coughs> but according to Bob Evans' mashed potatoes, I'm a family of seven. Yeah, I like eating mashed potatoes. What are its pronouns? Yeah, I took a risk with that mashed potato joke. Um, but yeah, man, it feels like we're walking on eggshells nowadays, you know? Uh, we're constantly changing the way we talk. Even Peter's trying to change the way we talk, man. You know Peter, the animal people? They're trying to tell us that we have sayings we need to change. For instance, I think we all know, uh, kill two birds with one stone. Right. Peter wants us to change it because they say it's offensive. To birds. Now, I don't know how well Peter knows birds, but I don't think the birds care, man. Like, you know? It's not like if you said that to a bird to be like, hey man, that's our phrase, you can't say that. <laughs> you ain't one of us, you, you don't know what pain. Motherfucker dropped the kill two bird bomb for hot stone at the end. <laughs> Probably want a cracker to shut the fuck up. Blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, I'm not racist by the way. Uh, I actually have a friend that's a bird. <clears throat> a few friends, actually. Birds of the feather flock together. No, but kill two birds with one stone. Yeah, they want to change it to feed two birds with one scone. And uh, I'm for it, man, you know? Uh, I think it makes more sense. It's more realistic. Like, if I'm sitting down feeding one bird one scone and another bird walks up, I'm not going to get up to get a second scone. You know, I'm going to feed two birds with one scone. But kill two birds with one stone? My brother, I don't think I can kill one bird with one stone, you know? In fact, they might take me a few stones. And killing birds with stones? What are we, caveman? Grab a gun or something, dog. Stone method's outdated. Yeah, stone's not even the proper way to kill a bird anymore, man. Uh, but no, I, would, I wouldn't hurt a bird, you know? Uh, I love animals. Uh, here's a fun animal fact, man. Fruit bats. Do you, go, do you guys know that fruit bats taste almost completely, but not entirely, unlike fruit? Yeah, fruit bats taste nothing like fruit, man. Uh, I don't know why we call them that. Uh, it's a very misleading name. I think we should call them needs more salt bats, <laughs> right? Yeah, that bat needs more seasoning. I also like my bat with a side of mashed potatoes. <clears throat> Who ordered the fruit bat with the side of mashed potatoes? Oh, it was hmm at that table. All right, that's my set. <laughs> you know, I fuck with how the joke went back full circle at the end. The yeah, because I didn't know where to go. I like that, that, and I like how your jokes have an actual punch to them, bro. No, yeah. it's his timing. Mine was more just like, 
using the Miami ness, but yours. You're working with the crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yours is great, man. Yours is great. Yeah, you really yeah. pulled that shit out of thin air. I was like, that was a crazy yeah. bit. <laughs> yeah, that was sheer like fucking nonsense, but it was good. Like, it was... Yeah, a, a lot of people would have laughed at that. A lot of people. Laughed at that. <laughs> oh yeah, that was good, PJ. Wow, you actually kind of shocked me, bro. We'll we'll yeah. talk about it after Carlos, especially because I didn't expect like I didn't throw up there. All right, stop procrastinating. Let's go. Oh, that shit was funny. You gonna read him in? Yeah, I'll read him in. Alright, here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, he stands at five foot ten on the best day ever. He's dark, he's tan, he's handsome according to his abuela, and he's from Hialeah, Florida. Cardo <laughs> So I like tattoos. I recently got a tattoo of my grandmother. Yeah, I was mourning her. But in hindsight, I should have probably thought about the placement better. See? Yeah, I should have put it on my back. As much as I love my grandmother, I put it on my forearm. Right hand, which was a bad idea. See, at first I thought about it like, no, she's always going to be with me. You know, I'll be driving around. I'll see her. Like, I'm always going to think about her. And then I jerked off for the first time. Oh, man, was that fucking awkward, let me tell you. Like, it changes everything now. Like, now I literally have to put the phone in the air and look down. I can't even look down anymore when I jerk off. And I can't tr- I can't switch lefty because I have my parents' name on my left hand, so I fucked myself all together. <laughs> Imagine giving back shots the same. I don't even fuck the same. I have to fuck with my hands back like this, like I'm a fucking amputee. Yeah, I should have put it on my back. And it's fucked up now because I don't even... I slide on like I can erase her. So I don't know what to do. That's pretty much the question. All right. I, I need to work on it more. Yeah, that's good, that's good. And I, I, so, I, I think, mean, it's like really short, but I just, I know I, I got to like, I think all three of us, stretch it out. we have the idea, but we just need to elaborate on it. You know? Yeah. 100%. PJ, PJ did a good job elaborating. You and I, we have the idea, but we just need to like, I'm just so impressed at PJ's bed because it gets really out of thin air. Like, yeah. Mine just literally, it's something that's real, it's personal. Like that. I like that though, man. Like, uh, like not a lot of people could think of that. It's more of a personal experience to you, you know? Yeah, PJ is more creative. Yeah, yeah that yeah, was, bro, yeah. like, and, uh, yeah, and you, and you, and you stretched it out beautifully. Like, that was, like, I, I should have, I should have timed you to tell you, but, like, I, I felt like that was three minutes. Uh, no, yeah, it was, like, three and a half minutes. Well, how'd you, how you guys feel? I feel like, dude, mine was ass. You're the guy, you guy, you guys. I mean, bro, bro, bro you, the thing is, dog, there's comedians that... To this day, they're they're set comedians and they still bomb. Like, yeah, bro, yeah. you're always in a bomb. It happens. Yeah, well, at least you bombed here. The only a hey, the only way to sharpen your sword is by fucking using it, bro. You gotta. This is your first time. You're very wise. This is your first fucking time, bro. Very wise for a guy who got a tattoo on his master. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, that was a great timing. Yeah, you see, yeah. Like, <laughs> well, I don't have it now, but when I'm up well, with the mic, you know what's funny? It's like situation, it's, it's, situation we, had, we had this conversation yeah. about certain comedians. Some better, some comedians are better on the riff, like yeah. Theo Vaughn. I think, like, bro, I much, yeah. I can yeah, watch Theo, man. I can watch Theo Vaughn on a podcast all day, but I think his stand up is, is is unbearable. I can't hear him rant and talk. Like, I can't uh-huh. listen to stand up. No, I think he has his moments for sure on like stand up, but some of his bits just like fall flat for so, sure. Yeah, like, oh, and I think Joe Rogan is the unfunniest person. Like his stand up to me is awful. So Theo, Theo's all like visuals and hearing. Like he, he just says outlandish shit. He makes know? up like stories and shit, man. Right, but it's not always the most creative shit, you know. No, but I'm just saying some people it translates better. Like some people are just funnier, like when they're just talking shit with their boys. Like have you seen Shane Gillis? Like dude, I think that guy's hilarious. Yeah, dude, he's, yeah. he's fucking. Awesome. But when he's just murking brews with his boys, that's when I think he's the funniest. Like his stand up's all right. To PJ me. loves Shane Gillis. Bro. He's hilarious, bro. He's fucking hilarious. But uh, tell me the most funniest shit has come from him riffing, like when he's just with his boys drinking. Yeah, yeah. I love watching him, like podcasts. Just fucking. Exactly my point. That's why I'm saying so. Like some his people, you know, mid, for sure. Yeah. It all it translates all differently. Yeah. So what do you what do you guys think is like worst case scenario, best case scenario? And I don't care. It's not like we're gonna die. Like it's. I'm just. I want to see what you guys. The obvious, bro. Worst case scenario, we bomb. Best case scenario, people fucking give you a standing ovation. Hey man, I think I think there's better best case scenarios than a standing ovation. I think. <laughs> what, you, what the fuck, bro? What, you you get you get signed to a movie your first time. Yeah. Yeah. Bro, yeah. This guy, we go out there in five minutes and actually like. No, bro. That go crazy, bro. There's the other guy in the crowd. There's people that have destroyed their first time, and like, bro, they, oh, don't, yeah. they don't just get famous the next day. Like, that still takes work. You gotta put in the work, man. That's there crazy. was a guy that started out. I think he's on SNL now. Like, he started out and he was just doing like small standups. And I think he killed his first like five minute standup, and he op- he ended up opening on the road for a uh, who's that guy that's always on Joe Rogan. 
Um, that was bigger, on SNL. No, bigger guy, bigger guy. Um, oh. Joey Diaz? No, he's always talking about smoking cigs. Um, Tom Segura? No, 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 no. Burt Kreischer? No. Uh, talking about smoking cigs. Bro, what's yeah, his name? I'm not sure. What does it look like? And it's not Joey Diaz? Bro, that's great. He's a chunky guy. Chunky. Wait, what's he going to say, though? But, bro, the, uh, what you got to remember is a lot of those motherfuckers really put their... Like, bro, those guys, a lot of those guys work, uh, end up, like, starting off working the door at the comedy club. Yeah, just I mean, work. it's their lives, bro. Just, like, yeah, they're, they're cleaning they're cleaning the, the bars. Yeah, they're, they're, working around around they're working as a bar back just to get a 10-minute set one day, like... Well, cheers, boys. That was a good... Uh, you got to put in the work. For set. And, all right, we should all do a vote, but I think PJ won this one. I think he did the best. Honestly, I'm not. And yeah, that's not getting favoritism because fuck you, yeah. PJ. I'm actually mad you do better. I thought I was gonna do better than you. I thought mine was gonna crush more than yours, but it did. I I think PJ's was the most creative, yeah. but I think yours has the potential with visuals to be. If I say it better, oh, yeah. if I if I deliver yeah. better, right? Yeah, Dude, I grandma agree. on the wrist and family yeah. on the other wrist, and you can't jack off like yeah. the back shot <laughs> visual, yeah. like dude, that's. You it's could really think about and it. I gotta be more, five minutes. I gotta be more physical. With yeah, I gotta. If you do one or two crowd works with that, bro, you could. Take it off. Hey, Stop. stage stage presence is huge too because the way that you went about it too, like you get like closer to the mic was yeah. like. Uh, I think your personality is more like loud and like open. You know. I don't know, man. That like, could go either way. Like, I don't know. We could, we could all crush honestly, but that was I'm impressed. That should impress me. That should impress me. That was dope. Yeah. Matt, your bit was good too. You just got yeah. like that. Show what you. I got to stretch it out. I want to hear another I've one of your bits, man. I've been practicing. Here, Matt. Uh, both of you. If you both have more bits, why would you? Uh, you know, I just don't want. I guess, bro. I don't want. I don't, yeah. I don't care. I don't care. I don't, I'll do it. I'll do another round of you guys. No, it's up to you. It's up to you guys. But wait, what were we gonna do in between? After, or we're gonna ask some questions, right? Uh, no, we're just gonna come on each other's bits. But I wanted. I want to see what you guys think about this. Like, you know, like some comedians, like they're not really themselves on stage. Like they have like a caricature. Of also, themselves. ego. Yeah. Yeah. Why not do that for like your set? Like. Uh, I feel like when I do it, I want to do, like, a southern accent. You know, like, I uh, thought about it, bro, but, like, fuck, for me, bro, like, that's going to be uncomfortable for me because then I feel like I'm going to have to put on, like, a mask. For your like, entire like life. A, like a WWE character. Like, bro, I like, think about it. Like, the people I feel, and this is just my opinion, but I feel the people that have, like, the real longevity careers are the people that make it being themselves because yeah. that way they don't have to, like, force anything. Like, where you can yeah. like, it's the best because you can just be you and, yeah. like... But I get what you mean because that works for a lot of people. Like Dane Cook, for example, like dude, that was a that was a complete character he played. Like that whole. No crazy... way. That, I think that was like kind of like his genuine stuff, like at the time. No, bro. If you hear Dane Cook like on an interview, like that is not. <laughs> he's, not he's, he's grown a lot since like you know. That's since, true like, though. Like, that's true too. But I mean, like, oh, who's a good example of that though? But I get what you mean completely. Like, there's yeah. people that that's like their whole spiel. Like, bro, uh, who's a. Uh, the white collar guy, Larry the Larry, Larry the cable kid. guy. But that that, that's kind of like who he is in general too, though. Like just like mm, blue collar type of guy. He milks it though, bro. Look, he's look, really not that stupid, dumb, ignorant Southern guy, but he plays the part yeah. real well. I like. think I think it's what Carlos said is a little bit true. If you don't be yourself, you could be missing out on people who think you, PJ Stewart, are funny. It just well, makes life easier. It's not, it's not like if you if you try being something else that you're not, then then. It might miss with some people. But it's not. It's but some not, people it's might not, find but, you as you are funny. It's yeah. not not being yourself, but right. exacvating no. a certain quality. I can't believe you're saying like, that. Like, no, like, no, no. Nathan for you, like he he's more, he you're tells me more on purpose because he thinks it's funny. You're Ooh. both correct because Nathan, uh, Nathan Fielder. Oh yeah, Nathan no, 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 yeah. you're both Nathan correct because bro, yeah. that's the epi- PJ. That's the epitome of an entertainer, like. Literally, someone who can transform into whatever, and it's like that. It's true what yeah. you're saying. It is that's that's literally entertainment. But, but I'm saying for me, like my personal experience, I rather like I I rather make it out of the mud of just being myself. So I wait on like uh, Pete Davidson, for example, bro. Have you ever seen his stand? Like you could tell, like he's just being him. He goes up there, he doesn't like he literally just goes up there and does him. There's a know? word. These they're unapologetically themselves. I guess, right. but like so they they don't. They don't feel like they need to like change anything. Well, my point is, but I do, I do get what you're saying. Well, my point is, it's yeah. anecdotal. Like I, that's, I'm just saying that's what I rather do. But that shit works for some people. Like that's like being, that's the pure, like that's being an actor. Like that's well, being an entertainer for real. I will say this: no matter what happens to me on Wednesday after that five minute segment, I'm gonna sign up for another one. You have, I mean, I would, yeah, I would and I'm gonna keep going. The fuck out. It doesn't matter if I get booed off or get kicked out. Like it doesn't matter. I'm. I'm going to keep signing up Bro, every month, mean, every week for yeah. more and more stand-up. If being booed or bombing is going to discourage you, this no. is not meant for you at all. No, no. 100%. I'm literally going to like, no. like, not give a fuck about anything. I'm already saying it now. Like, I I really, I, this is one of my New Year's uh, resolutions is to apply to one a month and then also more acting gigs too. Just like keep on, on the train. Yeah, you know what I mean? I love that. Like, it, I feel I feel like the only way to move forward is if just by taking action. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. You, you got to keep trying to do better for yourself. Exactly. You, know? you can only plan so much shit. 
But uh, I don't know. I thought I love the feeling of being uncomfortable, bro. And bro, at the end of the day, I, like, I, you, I, you, I fuck with it. You could be embarrassed as you want, but bro, at the end of the day, all the people that you're afraid of, they're they're in the back of their head. They're like, man, kudos to this guy yeah. for being to go up there and do that because that yeah. shit. Yeah, I've had friends that have bro, already told me. Yeah, like, many you people want to do that shit and don't have the balls. How many one of our friends you know want to do that shit? They just don't have the wherewithal. Like that shit yeah. is not. It's not easy. Bro. And, yeah, and, and sometimes like you got to do it with what you whether you're ready or not. But I do like the feeling of being prepared. Like I, I love that about you, PJ. Is that like, dude? You get ready. For I prepare, shit. man. Yeah, yeah, you're you prepare hard. Yeah, I need to, I I need to work that, on. I wing that shit completely. PJ executed that shit. Yeah, right? that motherfucker had the timing down. That yeah, that's good. That was good. I mean, either way, we would have bombed it here. Like, no matter if yeah, we had it, no way it was gonna go over. Bro, if it was Theo right? Vaughn here, we I know I'm mean, never mind. He probably would have us shitting ourselves up after. But like, yeah, for sure. yeah. bro, one of those professional comics, bro, that's just sitting here, they would have us like crying on the floor. Bro. Well, that's why like, sometimes when you watch podcasts and uh, someone says something funny and nobody reacts. Like, yeah. I feel like it's kind of like a situational thing too, you know? Yeah. Oh my God, Joe Rogan's the king of not getting jokes, bro. Have you seen the shit he gets for not getting jokes? <laughs> yeah. Bro, it's hilarious, bro. He's retarded. He has like no comedic like... Yeah, he's like, what do you mean bro, by that? Like, <laughs> like Shane Gillis, he bombed hard <laughs> on, J- on JRE. Like, bro... Like Rogan didn't crack up once. He's like, okay, like you, like that show was hilarious, and like I was dying laughing the whole time. Like I thought that show was hilarious. Bro. That's that's funny, dude. How do you like? He's literally started in comedy, right? Uh, not really, cause he, he well, he was he's yes and no, cause he had that show that he was on. What's that sitcom that he was on before Fear Factor? He Joe landed Rogan. like a he landed like a job early in Hollywood. I forgot the show he was on. Oh, the the man show he was on. No, that's actually I, you. Were, that's crazy. You remember that? Yeah, you. And that other no, nor not nor, not Norm Macdonald. That other guy was on the man show. But no, it's actually before the man show. This was like he was in his early early like twenties. Uh, I forgot what it was though. Like side, a, it was like a sitcom. Side note though, because you were talking about Jerry. I know this is off topic. Did you see what happened to Jordan Peterson? That he got like canceled or something. Jordan Pearson. Oh, gets I heard about it. But I don't Jordan know what Pearson gets canceled every year, bro. For being, they say that he's like massage. It's crazy. He gets the same treatment as Andrew Tate. Yeah, and yeah, he's yeah, like yeah. the most like bro. They're like opposites, bro. Bro, they're yeah. complete yeah. opposites. Like, it's retarded, it's not, bro. It's not about being a male. <laughs> and, and you know what's sad? It's, 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 it's about being. Bro, Jordan Peterson, I swear to God, is one of the best things that ever happened. To he always me. cries, bro. To, to I men, like it, man. To men, like to men our age, bro. Yeah. I swear. Some of, you some you of the need sh- to be dangerous. You need to be... Some of his college speeches... Are you like, crying? Oh, been... God, of course. <laughs> what? Like, he always, like... He asks him, like, are you crying? And then he just, like, gets into it. Like, well, how can I not cry? He's an emotional guy. men out there. Did you like, not? He's, he's, not cry. he's an emotional guy, To bro. cry means that your eyes are watery. But I really... I, I, a lot of his messages, bro, are powerful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's very inspirational. Yeah. Um, all right, what was he's next? just like a no nonsense type of guy, and I like that. Like in this generation, you need that. In a generation where people think that they can identify as furries and all this shit, like you need people like him, where they're like, "Hey, yeah. hey, he's an rea- intellectual, reality man. check, buddy. This is how this goes." Because mm-hmm. get your head out of your ass, which mm-hmm. is what I appreciate. But I don't know where where this took <laughs> turn this way. Uh, I brought it up because Jerry. Yeah. Also, I wanted to ask you guys favorite comedians if you had to like. Pick a top three. Oh, you're gonna. I'm gonna blow your. Well, okay. Can I have like two different sets? Can I have like the comedians that like from back then and the comedians now? It's like rappers back then and now. They're two different. It's like comparing apples to oranges. Like, yeah. I suppose, man. All right. Can I, I give like you two different top different, fives? Though. I hate my. You need top five though. if you want. Because, bro, the thing is, I love like the George Garland, the uh, mm. like the the Richard Pryors, like Richard those were Pryor, the OGs, man, yeah. and I, I and believe and I oh the Andrew Dice Clay's and like you could say whatever you want, <laughs> bro. I actually go. I've gone back and looked at those standups. I have them on my phone. Like my uncle is a huge fan of Andrew Dice Clay, so I, I so love it. Yeah. So growing up, no, I grew, the thing is that's why I was like, bro, like that foul, like dirty comedy. That's what I love. But those yeah. are the goats. But I also have like the new generation of goats, like fucking Bill Burr, that I think is yeah, Bill Burr Burr is good. best of all good. time. Bill, um, is good. Bill Burr to me is one of the best of all time. He's like a comedian's comedian. Uh, he is, man. Yeah. I like Mark Norman. Yeah, dude. Shouts uh, out Mark Norman. I love him. Uh, yeah, bro, bro, you gotta give one answer. You're listing everybody. No, I, 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 top five. I said I was giving you two different oh, top okay, fives. Okay, okay. So my new my new generation top five would definitely be Bill Burr, uh, Mark Norman. Mm. Um. What, what about worst of all time? Like your least favorite? Oh, that's my, that, we'll, we'll talk about that too. Okay, we'll go. Ahead. We'll get into it. Yeah. Um, oh, oh, how can I forget? Damn, I don't know. Does Chris Rock count as new or old? Uh, old, he's old. He's old school. Yeah, he's kind of old. That's he's old like old, 90s. He's my, Cause Chris Rock's a legend. Chris yeah. Tucker, to me, is also a legend. Right. Oh, um, Bernie Mac. I love Bernie, Bernie Mac. Mac. Oh, I'm uh, sorry. Patrice o- and Patrice O'Neal. Patrice O'Neal is also my go. That's a good one too, man. Yep. Damn. Yep. Fucking Patrice O'Neal. Yeah. yeah. My, uh, I like really offensive motherfuckers, bro. Me too. Like, I don't go for the clean... Like, Dane Cook yeah. was good when I was, like, in third grade. Like, those little comedy YouTube videos, but, like... Yeah, the little cartoons. Yeah, yeah, yeah but that shit at the end of the day was kind of corny. Like, I, yeah, I it was. My, my favorite right now, it's kind of... 
Wait, sorry, Joey D is in the Bill Burr list. That's oh, nice. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Sorry. He's a different type. He's a serious type of comic. No, he's not. He's a cocksucker. Go, go, go. Yeah. yeah. My favorite is super controversial because, like, he got canceled hard. But, well, <laughs> well, no, he's not my favorite. But I will say I think he's the one that's made me laugh the hardest. And he's the funniest man I've ever watched any of his stand-up. It's Chris D'Elia. Yeah, you know, it's so crazy. I know. Uh, I was going to you were going to say yeah. that. It's so crazy because I forgot about Chris D'Elia. And I'm not going to sit here and act all PC. No, I definitely fuck with Chris D'Elia. I don't care. He's yeah. funny. But man, he's his career is fucked. He's fucked, but so fun, yeah. he's the most creative, the most wit, like the wittiest. He's so fucking funny, bro. It's a specific type of humor too. He's a specific, and he and his like mannerisms and his face and shit. He's just he's the funniest to me. My least favorite is Brendan Shaw. Right, what about Brandon? <laughs> okay? First of all, first of all, the, the, don't say Brendan Shaw's a comedian, and that's Joe Rogan's friend. I mean, he's, um, that's Joe Rogan's friend. Just because you do stand up, yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, what's your old generation? Like? Old generation? I mean, like like you said, I loved Dane Cook back in the day. Okay. Is he, he old generation now? Because he's like... Yeah, he's, he's, not, he's early he's 2000s. Not, he's, not, he's, not, he's not a George Garland like... Uh, like uh, a, my, my old generation is probably basic Norm, Norm MacDonald. Yeah. He was great. And also... Um, dude, honestly, like Adam Sandler back in the day. When he was oh, trying yeah. out for he's, SNL. He's he's a, his stand-up was weird, but yeah. He's, yeah. he's very prop. He's very loud. He's very like, you know, props and stuff. I loved Adam Sandler. Um, I'm trying to think of old school guys like the SNL days when they were like always trying out. Uh, Chris Farley was good. Did he do stand up? Um, it's funny because he did do stand up. It's funny because sure. the comedians I like were are all were all too dirty to be on SNL, but yeah. they hosted it once or twice. Like yeah, Richard yeah. Pryor hosted SNL, but they could yeah. never be like permanent cast. They were too. You funny. know what? You know who I'm not like crazy about, but I understand him now more. Chappelle. Yeah, oh my god, I'm so fucking idiot. Shit, you didn't name, I'm surprised you didn't name him, uh, Carlos. Bro, Chappelle is. is you know what I mean? Hear me out, hear me out. He's very, he's too controversial. So a lot of people are going to hate him. A lot of people are going to well, hate him. nowadays, yeah. Nowadays, but he just says shit. He's like, motherfucker, damn. Like, no. he just says shit that it's like. Nah, just chill. Put some respect on the show. But look, you know, you don't want to know PJ why I didn't mention it. Uh, I'll mention it. Sure, his stand-up is, his, his, bro, his stand-up is not even, how can you say it's like, oh, he says, oh, like, bro, his stand-up. No, no, I'm saying he says good shit. He drops a special now. No, no, he drops a special now and it's on the news because of how, like, um, you know, like, he actually like yeah it's actually now a lot more wisdom than anything yeah. but my bad you know why I didn't really mention him on my stand up cause bro straight up I see him more, like I loved him more from his like Half Baked is one of my favorite mm-hmm. movies um, yeah. uh, the Chappelle show like I saw mm-hmm. I see him more as like an actor than I did a comedian cause I'm, not, I'm gonna be honest his stand up wasn't my favorite yeah. but that's why I didn't mention him another, I love one, that's Chappelle another one I like now is Tosh uh, we talked oh, about Daniel. Dude, I, I forgot Tosh. about Tosh, man. Great. Man. And stand up too. Wow. I will say my last one from old school that I, I like. You already said him, but I liked him on like TV and shows. Was Chris Rock? Like everybody hates Chris. Nice. Chris. Yeah, that's good I too. like Chris Rock. Everybody hates Chris. He's still making great show, show, man. Yeah. All right, that's it. That's all. I, I'd say my the best of all time is Chris. My Leo. man's got two jobs. Yeah, my <laughs> man got two jobs. <laughs> <laughs> and he sleeps not five oh one, not four fifty nine. Fucking Terry Crews. Terry Crews. He he was. I think he did comedy too. Yeah. Too bad Terry he's Cruz? the biggest bitch in the world. Um, oh yeah, he's like a. What is, what you he imagine doing? being six seven, like two eighty, and say some guy slapped your ass and then you were a victim. Fucking pussy. Anyways, is uh, PJ, what were you gonna say? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what happened. Okay, hey man, for my top five, yeah, I got Norm Macdonald, Dave Chappelle, Mitch Hedberg, Daniel Tosh. Uh, Who was that third one? Mitch Hedberg. I don't know him. I've heard of Mitch Hedberg, but I'm not familiar. I don't think I've He's ever like, watched well, him. He died back in like... You I don't think I've watched him. We've said zero women. They're not because women are funny. Yeah. <laughs> what do you mean? That's super easy. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Amy Schumer, Whitney, dude. You know what? Uh, Courtney Cox or what? Courtney Cox. Uh, yeah, she's an actress. No, yeah, Whitney. Whitney. What else is before this? Why not? No, fucking. Remember, no. remember when What's Carlos? Remember when Carlos said there has never been a woman genius before? Yeah, and there isn't, and there's not a <laughs> yeah. and there's not a funny <laughs> woman. Name like six. Yeah, it's still true. I stand he's on that. He's trying to save face, but Carlos is hey. trying to bring us down. Hey, you know, he wants us to say, Hey, change my, us. change my mind. Change my mind. There's a reason. We're dying. We're like, come on. Oh. Um, uh, PJ, what's her name, bro? Whitney Cummings. Oh, Whitney Cummings. Whitney Cummings. That's what her. Yeah. Did you see her newest special that just dropped? It got. It was one of the lowest rated specials really? of all time. That's great because I, oh. I do think she's kind of funny. You know who also <laughs> got the lowest rated special of all time before? Who? You know who else has that record? A woman, Amy Schumer. Amy Schumer. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Amy Schumer is not bro. Amy Schumer, Schumer would not be. Hey, funny, I love women, but play your position, man. You guys aren't. Oh, by the way, shout out to John what? Mulaney too, man. Forgot about him. He's funny. Ooh, that's a go. Yeah, holy yeah. shit, that's a. Guy, guy goes, I love women. Like he doesn't totally disrespect them all. Day. I don't. I'm not disrespecting. It's the truth. Like they're not funny. Like there's not one funny comedian name one. Oh, yeah. I'm bullshit. What's that? Oh, she, nah, she's hilarious and she died recently. Old lady. Um. Oh. Uh, she was actually funny. I fuck with her. Lisa um, Lampanelli. No man, she, Lisa. <laughs> no, I she know her from like the like, lowest. Her enthusiasm, right? 
Um, By the way, that's another one. Larry David and Jerry Seinfeld. They're funny, yeah. You know exactly who it is, PJ. But I don't want to like go on my phone and Google her. But she was, she was, she's like an icon, bro. I just can't remember. I am fucked up. I think I'm gonna change my answer to Jerry Seinfeld. You talking about Joan Rivers? Joan fucking Rivers. Thank yeah. you. That's she was the funniest. She's fun. almost genius. I've actually seen her stand up. No, she was good. She's genius. She's funny, how funny she is. Yeah. You know who's funny? Oh, Roseanne. Sorry, she's funny. Too. Roseanne. Roseanne's funny. Hell yeah, dude. You know who's funny now uh, as a woman? Uh, Comic, oh, the the Asian one. She you has even, a show. You don't even know her name. Aquafina. Aquafina. Yeah. Aquafina. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I have no idea who She's is. funny. She's actually really funny. She's like, right. I think Mark Maron's funny too, man. Forget about who? Who's Mark Maron? Maron. For sure. Good one. Well, Whitney Cummings, I never, she's just like very straightforward, but I never. Oh, really funny. fuck. And Louis C.K. too, man. <laughs> Louis C.K. Oh, that's like, oh, I mean, see, 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 that's, that's, why, good, that's why I hate when people ask me who my favorite rappers are. The same shit happens. You forget about people. Yeah. He's a redhead, right? Who? He had like a red beard or something. Louis yeah, Lucy. Yeah, but the one that got canceled for yeah, jerking off on that girl. <laughs> <laughs> he yeah, he came all over her. What an idiot. Um, well, he has permission first. No, yeah, was, that's Jack the thing, off, she right? wanted to happen, so that shit was stupid. But did you ever watch the show? Did you like the suit? Dude, I love Louis, 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 Louis. Louis. I, Cause I like that it was like Seinfeld, like it incorporated the stand up with the show. Yeah, it's like, it's like a bio. Oh, concept. by the way, that's what I was gonna tell you. I don't think Cherry Seinfeld's funny at all. How about those airplane peanuts? Get the fuck out of here. That guy's so corny, bro. You're an idiot. His, no, the like show's good. Seinfeld. He's crazy. This show's good, but his stand up is corny, bro. Larry David's the goat. Yeah, Larry David, David is situationally funny. That he <laughs> puts you in situations that are like Guys, uncomfortable and they're funny Jerry Seinfeld can he does what PJ does he can he can find like he can make a joke out of almost like yeah. nothing you know what I mean and he and he plans it the way he talks the way he I like know, I couldn't do it with I love Jerry Seinfeld and bro. I tried, I tried. I but he's not like hysterical like you're not gonna piss that's yourself. just one of those guys yeah. I prefer on the show like don't get me wrong Seinfeld's hilarious yeah, yeah but the ones that make me piss myself are like Chris D'Elia Theo Vaughn uh Bobby Lee, like those guys are. Oh, Bobby Lee's a good one. I forgot about. Yeah, Bobby, Bobby Lee's good. It is, but it's hard to watch his stand ups because he doesn't do them often, you know. Not only that, the, yeah. What's the last time he dropped a special? Like thirty years ago. Never. Sure. Yeah. He's never done a special. But no, he, he does has, like he uh, has one. No, right? he, no, he's never dropped a special. Really? Never. So where have I seen it? Oh, oh yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it is. Yeah, he They're all just clips Bobby of his stand up, like at the comedy club. He's right. He's right. PJ's right. Um, but you know he was funny on Mad TV when he would play that. Yeah, he's funny. When he would play that stupid Mad ass uh, Chinese guy, hot dog, yeah, <laughs> hot dog, American baseball, yeah, you know that shit yeah, was yeah, so yeah. funny, bro. <laughs> you know who's funny, but I don't think he ever did stand up. Snoop. Snoop Dogg. Yeah, Snoop Dogg is funny as fuck. He, did he ever do stand up? No, no, I don't think so. I was thinking of the Comedy Central roast. I don't know if it was Hayes or Justin he Bieber. Did. Justin Bieber, yeah, he did. That was so was funny said. when Kevin Kevin Hart, bro. We miss Kevin Hart. Uh, I think he's overrated. Man. Yeah, so I'll take you, PJ. He's yeah, he's prop. He's very proppy. Yeah. But, but except for that, the uh, oh Pete Davidson. He's uh, fine. I, I know you don't like him. No, it's not that I don't like him. I felt like I was. I mentioned him earlier when I said that he's just himself, and I fuck with that. Yeah. But I don't think he's funny like that. Pete Davidson so. on that Comedy Central roast called Kevin Hart Shaq's dick. And yeah, I was cracking funny. up, bro. That is. Funny. He's like Shaq's dick is here tonight, bro. It was so funny. He was sitting next to Shaq. Man, you, have you guys ever heard of Alonzo Hamburger oh, Jones? I'm an idiot. I'm so sorry, guys. I missed one of my goats, bro. Okay, I, can't, I just remember Cat. I'm sorry. Cat Williams. So oh, he's oh, funny, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. I'm talking about like his specials are actually like goaded. Like I, I yeah. could, like I could, bro. I used to literally watch those shits in high school. When we had the Air, AirPod. I mean the iPad. Yeah, bro, I would literally right. be watching Cat Williams specials. Like I'm not fucking in math. Yeah, he's his voice is just so high pitched and <laughs> so funny. Like, like that. Damn. Like that, bro. He's just iconic, bro. Like his bits are in GTA. Like Are that, they really? Oh, that's funny yes, as fuck. you can go <laughs> in GTA Four. You can go to the comedy club and watch Cat Williams performing that famous "Every Day I'm Hustling" a bit. Do, 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 do. That's just hilarious. What, what were you gonna say, BJ? Um, fuck that noise. You know who's good at fucking comedy? Fuck is, that uh, noise. Childish Gambino, man. Donald Glover. He's he's good. Uh, for I'll give for Childish him, Gambino like, this. So I'll give Childish Gambino this. Atlanta's a great show. And he's very it's a good artistic. show, man. Yeah, and he he's like so versatile. He could do. He writes shows. He raps. He does comedy, but. I don't think his comedy's that funny, PJ. But it's not that yeah. funny, but it's cool that he's able to do so. Oh no, he's versatile. And be good at Fuck, it. dude, that guy's yeah. an artist. That's like a pure artist right there. You know what was a funny one back in the Even day? Even though I don't think his music's that good, though. So. Uh, <laughs> what was the fucking um, the Odd Future show that they had like on Dolphin? Loiter Squad. Loiter Squad. Loiter Squad was awesome. Was uh, like what's his face is hilarious. Um, Tyler the Creator. Tyler the Creator. Yeah. So is Taco. So is all those guys. Yeah, Taco. Oh funny. my god. Bro. They're all funny as fuck. Yeah, Taco's my favorite rapper, man. Fuck Taco. Taco. Really? Yeah. No way. Yeah, because I, I I used to like listen to Tyler all the time. Bro, that's so friend. niche. That's crazy. I didn't miss yeah. out on this, PJ. No, honestly, I, mean, I have to pay. It is a surprise. PJ, yeah. do you listen to Suicide Boys? I do, man. I, oh, I know it. I was gonna say, I, I know PJ. I, know I, listen, I listen to ever
Or you Should we do that? No, we'll do that after. I'm, I didn't know. Well, what do we do? Post. Uh, we'll hit video of the week and let's hit questions. He was yeah. twerking on a car. <laughs> yeah. Watch <laughs> my videos. I may have this morning. Hell yeah, brother! You want to be in one of them? Fuck Britney on camera. Hi, I'm Britney. <laughs> Can you fuck? Yeah. Or are you any good at it? Have you fucked before? Yeah, li like a bunch load. What's your favorite position? F frontal cowgirl, uh, seminary. Okay. Um, <laughs> banana split. Okay. Bang a rang. Tammy, you know what they say about tall and skinny boys? Huh? Their hogs are hanging. You got a hanging hog? <laughs> Get in. All right, we are back. That was our video of the week. Thanks for hanging out with us. We are transitioning into our questions this week, our write-ins. Thank you so much. We love you guys. We got uh, DeMonte from Cali. Carlos is going to take this one. DeMont, that guy's black for sure. DeMonte from California, age 21. What up, OGY? Just spent the weekend in Vegas for my homie Chafar's 21st. Shouts out. He died. <laughs> Holy shit. He died of alcohol poisoning. What happened? What the fuck? He, what happens in Vegas stays in Vegas. Am I right? Hey, what whoa. is your favorite birthday memory? Signing off, DeMonte. That's fuck. <laughs> well, clearly it didn't stay in Vegas if you just told all 22 of our subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. and, all three of us. and all three of us um wow that's crazy my favorite birthday memory bro to be honest i'm so anti-birthdays that i like hate the, uh, even celebrating my birthday okay no i swear <laughs> oh, okay here we go no oh, oh that guy that, my god that sweet on his birthday i hate birthdays no, birthday. please don't wish you a happy <laughs> birthday <laughs> But see, like, I we're gonna make this a clip. For don't you. do me like this because you know damn well I've had this conversation with Gucci. Like, we, me and Dylan don't even wish each other happy birthday. Name of the episode, Carl. Like, no, 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 I swear. Like, don't I, wish him a happy bro, birthday. Bro, I hate when everyone's singing you happy birthday to me. It's awkward. Like, I don't like it. I don't like it. It's, it's, it's always awkward. awkward you're just getting older. Like, it's nothing. It's but you don't like meeting up with friends, having a you're, good you're time. One, you're, yeah, but I do that regardless. That's what I said. Like, it doesn't mean, like, you get me? So. Mm -hmm. Same reason he hates wedding parties. Wait. He just doesn't like meeting with people. I'm just anti fun, all right? Now, listen. My favorite birthday memory. Yeah. Is uh, as much as I didn't like the place, I went to fucking uh, Tennessee and I, on my mm. 20, but I was 20 turning 21, right? And I went like on a boys trip, but it was, and it's funny because you're like, why would you like this? But it was so funny, dog, because they tried the fuck out of me. Like I would go to each club and they'd be like, nah, bro, you're not 21 to like 20 minutes from now. So he would, they literally made us wait like 15, 20 minutes outside of the club till I like, hit 12 o'clock to like, let us in and shit. And then some shit happened that I can't talk about on camera, but that would be my favorite. <laughs> That'll be my favorite. You can edit it out, but you can Because, you know, it has the redacted and redacted in it, so. And they have, you know, redacted, redacted, so they can't be redacted. Oh, I like that. I was like, yeah, I'm so lucky, right? Yeah. Redacted. A lot of redacted. Yeah, yeah like if that. you're picking up what I'm putting down. So. It's just like, beep, beep. beep. <laughs> like you're cursing. But yeah, go. I like that, I like that. What do you got, Peach? Uh, uh, dude, so when I was 12, I uh, went to Disney with a few friends, like at the hotel. Mm -hmm. And we got water guns from the, from the arcade. And then, you know, we started shooting arcades within the hotel room. Or not, the fucking water guns in the hotel room. And then my friend Giancarlo pissed in one of them. And, you know, monkey see, monkey do. So we all started pissing our water guns and started firing them around the room. And the whole room got covered in piss. And you guys and all then... got staph infections. <laughs> no, but the fucking <laughs> staff was pissed. Crazy. And then one of my friends pooped in a cup. He's like, all right, if we don't stop uh, fucking shooting the piss around the room, I'm going to throw my shit at somebody, man. Dude, that room must have smelled crazy. It was, yeah, <laughs> It was bad, bro. Like, you all smelled like ass. Like, but, like, actually, like, it wasn't even my birthday. And that's your favorite, <laughs> that's your favorite memory? memory? I thought, because it was so fucking uh, you didn't enjoy. You didn't enjoy that one birthday more than that? <laughs> <laughs> he even remembered it age 12. Like, like, I thought he was going to be like, bro, we had the time of our lives. And he started saying, we pissed and shit. All on the right home, his mom's like, how was your weekend? <laughs> Good. <laughs> and he had I don't know. Uh, you said like 21st or something. Like, yeah, I went out for drinks. Like, yeah. You know, that's, 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 boring. that's the usual shit. Yeah. That's true. Mine is... uh. Well, PJ just said I'm a basic bitch, bro. Like, in the, <laughs> nicest, in the nicest way possible. He's like, nah, but yeah, but your story was whack. <laughs> He's like, yeah, let me He's get like, yeah, back. Yeah, but yours is huh? basic. <laughs> All right, my bad. I didn't shit and piss with my friends, PJ. <laughs> PJ's going to get a, a nice fat bill from whatever hotel I was now. Cool. Yeah. Uh, My, um... So, whenever we were young, remember we used to do Johnny Rockets a lot for my birthday? Of course. That was oh, fire. Yeah. But I had one birthday specifically. <laughs> Did you say week? I you had know one. What PJ said? No, I said he. Oh, I, I, thought, he. I thought PJ said week. <laughs> no, I, I had one birthday friend. specifically, and you for sure remember this, that we went to Johnny Rockets, and then, I don't know if it was the next day or whatever, we went to the beach with all of our friends, like you, me, Kevin, Dylan, all of them, and we were playing football. And two years in a row, Kevin had to leave my birthday because of a bodily injury. <laughs> This is our bro. This guy's like the guy from SpongeBob that has all the bowl wrap on. Him. My leg. My leg. It was so crazy. I remember that perfectly. We went to PJ Mulligan and had a snowball fight. JP Mulligan's, but yeah, and I said uh, PJ Mulligan. <laughs> yeah. So before that, we went to the beach, and uh, 
some like gay kids started hitting on Kevin and wanted him to play on the oh football team. Oh my gosh. Remember? Bro, we were gay, playing football and we were like, all right, the, tackle. They came with the gauges and the pink yes. buckets. Bro, oh my yes. god, bro. That's and uh, and he know. wanted to play against Kevin so bad, bro. And then Kevin like shit himself and had to go home. Bro, we were like 10. We were, we were like 10, yeah. And then we went to Jake Mulligan's. And then my mom called Kevin's family and was like, hey, what's wrong with Kevin? And they were like, no, he's just a bitch. Don't worry. He's like, Remember that shit? And he shat himself twice, uh, twice <laughs> on my Bro. birthday, back to back years. You uh, no, but you unleashed so many memories with that gay ass nigga fucking yeah. uh, playing football with Devin. Bro, that shit was hilarious. Yeah, oh, nothing wrong with that. But I just remember he just, he chose Kevin specifically. Oh my god! Oh, nothing wrong with that. All right, PC over here. Fuck you. You guys. got to man. We're trying to run up, trying to run a podcast. Um. Oh, exactly. and can't get canceled, baby. That's that doesn't exist. See, that was my favorite one, Kevin getting injured twice. Oh, well, my well, guys, sport. we're not going to get a Coca- <laughs> We're not gonna get a Coca-Cola brand deal? Fuck out of here. We're working on that right now, bro. <laughs> hey, bro, hey, bro, Preji's whole bit is about, like, trans mashed potatoes and shit. What the fuck? Get the fuck out of here. It's more about pronouns. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but he kept it all, it's all PC, bro. What? It's all PC. Fuck them. All right. What are you guys going to say? PJ's come a long way from work all the time. Oh, wait. Do yeah. I say, Do I read the next question? Uh, no, wait, wait, Matt, you want to do it, or you want yeah, to... Yeah, yeah, I'll go, bro. Do oh, my goodness, this one. is a paragraph. Oh, fuck, this guy again, bro? That's your boy. He's written in every single episode. Fuck, okay. Charles from Wyoming, age 64. Hello, only getting younger. This question is going to be a bit different than the ones I usually ask. Since you guys have been wanting me to share about my current situation, I'll let you know that I have been having difficulties with my personal relationships. I seem to have trouble letting people in. I put up wall after wall to the point... Where I'm just a maze of a person, and even if you made your way to the middle, you'd only find emptiness. Jesus Christ. To call me a nobody would at least be comforting, because it would give me a sense of identity. I just don't know who I am. And if I ever was somebody, I don't know who I used to be. Wow. What a poet. My loneliness knows no bounds to the point where I don't even know myself. What kind of hobbies can I pick up to form an identity and distract myself from the mental anguish I have from not relating to others? No, bro, I don't got Sincerely, it. Charles. P.S. I don't appreciate it when you guys call me old or say my question is stupid. I consider you guys my friends and it hurts my feelings when you do that. Oh, shout out, Charles. What a creep. Man, <laughs> I don't have time for these extra... Kind of a creep. Bro, he, he took the time to write like a 12-page fucking essay to us. What's up with these existential crisis questions, bro? This is supposed to be fun, like fuck, marry, kill, but that type of shit. This guy's 64, right? bro. I'm not a fucking therapist. Well, I mean, because Charles used to write about food a lot. And what makes you think that we have control of our own lives, right? Uh, we... <laughs> the fuck well, we're not I don't know we're fucking psychiatrists you dude. know what sucks about this boomer bro do what me and PJ do go on walks so that shit actually helps like, hell yeah baby no it really does bro I walks swear. do help man. I was just telling Matt how I do the same when I have like a panic attack and the thing is you know what I, and, and not even a walk you know what I thought about and I know this is exactly why I feel so good at least for me like even riding bike like I love like riding bike you know why because I have to be pushing pedals and constantly looking and I'll ride on the street purposely because that means I have to be constantly having my hands on the brakes and looking out for cars meaning guess what I can't touch my phone I don't look at my phone you can't mm. you literally have to be looking out you're so distracted from this fucking shitty fucking devil of a device that we have that like you're actually in the real world and I, for me that's what helps me like I love it bro I love like that hour that I just I didn't check my phone at once I don't care who's called I didn't check a text like for me that's like liberating my anxiety goes away fucking it feels great so uh, that's like the best advice I could give I think Carlos just invented something here. no I didn't bet in anything like been, that, concept, that concept's been around but like it's just it's crazy like I for me that's what that's why I think that that it helps me so much because I'm like bro I'm not I'm not sucked into this at all I don't know what's I don't care what I'm not checking Instagram like I'm literally fending for my survival like I have to be attentive I'm looking at nature like it yeah. makes you grounded man yeah exactly that's so in I'm a way are you suggesting that Charles should start I mean, yeah. writing I for any, anything anything that distracts you from this bro this 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 shit is horrible well you know his wife is getting banged by that's fine by whatever you know what's great you know what's great what was his name you know what's great guess what guess what you don't have time to think about your wife getting boned if you're running in traffic so at the end of the day it's great you're either running way. in traffic yeah it's a distraction like do something in traffic. Don't get distracted Charles right. I think you should play high line man that's a fun anything uh, go play ball go play basketball with your boys you're not gonna have time to think about your girl getting because you're gonna be thinking about scoring because your boy's talking shit well actually he's like 64 so I don't know if yeah, he has he, like he uh, uh, maybe some up, heroin go to the local bingo arena bingo maybe what if his wife's there and like uh, Mr. Bloom? You know what? Now you guys just want this guy to kill himself. No, do like I'm trying to give fucking something. options here, and you're optioning. You know what he should get into? He should do what? Uh, you guys seen that new movie or show that Walter White started doing? That he started buying all the lottery tickets, no. and him and his wife no, started winning. That, that, was, that was a that's on a real couple that they did that. Yeah. 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 Charles, you should get into that. Book. Yeah. yeah well, lose all your that's money. A, to a that's actually that's actually illegal, Tom. So. 
I mean Charles. Tom. Tom. Yeah, where'd you get Tom from? I don't know. Charles, Tom, Alex. Dude, he, they literally wrote into us that his wife is getting banged by his neighbor. Yeah. Or best Was it best yeah, friend? What the fuck are we supposed to do about that, man? Mr. Bloom. Find a new wife. I don't know. I kind of feel like we had that power. It's like podcast. Start hosts. paying for pussy or something, man. Go go to go to Colombia and buy, bang a bunch of fucking twenty year old Colombian bitches. You'll be fine. Uh, Next no. question. Wait, Next Matt, question. Matt, what hobby should he do? What hobbies? That's I a hobby. You. Passport. It's called a passport potter. You just uh, nice. fuck a bunch of bitches in a different uh, country. That's not a ho- That's not really a hobby though. Like if How's I say, that a hobby? Do you do? If I say that a hobby? Do you for a hobby? Why is right? that a hobby? It's an active thing to do. Yeah, and you can kind of collect them like Pokemon. You can be like, I got a Brazil, I got a Colombia. Bro, if you go to work and then somebody asks you, so what do you do for a hobby? I don't think that would be your reply. Oh, uh, PJ's you know retired, so he could do whatever fuck he, he wants. Where does it say he's retired? You're pulling Dude, shit he's out pushing, of your ass. He's pushing 70, bro. He's, there's no way this guy's still working. Yeah, there you go. And if he has time to watch this show, there's no way he's working. I don't know, man. What do you think he, <laughs> what, what do you think he does? I think he's told us what he does before, right? Uh, oh, yeah. Uh, fuck. Um... I think he's like a food critic or something. <laughs> Ratatouille. That itself is a hobby. <laughs> Dude, that's, a show. Yeah. that's a hobby right there, bro. All right, Damn. Charles, we appreciate it, man. What a lonely life, dude. That was, that was a, hey, a, Charles, a just kill yourself, man. All right, Charles, buddy. You're real, right? Imagine he fucking writes in the next time. Hey, it's Charles' wife, he died. Another one bites the dust. That'd be rough. All right, I'm going to go in for the next one. This is Carolina from South Carolina, age Carolina. <laughs> hey, guys, it's Carolina. I'm in urgent care for collapsed anus right now. What is the worst injury you've ever been through? Sincerely, Carolina. Ooh, she's been getting that fucking... That's crazy. What's the, the worst stink, injury? Dog. You know what I love about these questions? They always start brutal, and then the last <laughs> the question is always like, what's your favorite color? Like, it's always something so irrelevant. Oh, uh, knock on wood, but I've never broken a bone. But, Same. bro, so one time, so when I was younger, like when I was like 14, I used to have this dirt bike. And I was ripping that shit, right? And one time, the radiator blew up on my leg. <coughs> and I didn't, I don't know for, I guess it was adrenaline. I don't know why, but I, I got radiator fluid all over my leg, but I didn't pee. But, so I was just walking the bike back home because it didn't work anymore. And as I'm walking home, I start to feel my leg like it's lit on fire. And I start to see literally my skin bubbling. I'm like, what the mm. fuck? I drop, I drop the bike literally in the middle of the street and I spring home. I go to my backyard and I dip my pool in the leg. And I'm like, what the you fuck? Your pool in the pool leg. In the leg. I, I mean, that's what I said. Damn. I dip my leg in the pool. My bad. Oh, uh, that's crazy. And then my dad comes out like, what the fuck? What happened to you, bro? My leg's all purple and shit. I went to urgent care and basically I had like these third degree burns all over my leg from the radiator fluid. And bro, they had to like, and they didn't put me to sleep for any of this. They had to get like this metal brush and scrape off all the fucking skin off my thing and then put like a dressing. Bro, Jeez. let me tell you something. When I didn't even know this. When, How old were you? Oh, I've said that story a couple times. What? I How was like 14. Grade? I was like 14. 14. We were in middle school. I think we was in eighth grade because I was like about to go to high school. Like, mm-hmm. I remember I had that little blue dirt bike. That shit literally mm-hmm. lasted three months before I destroyed it. Um, The metal brush and they're scraping the skin off my leg. And bro, that shit literally felt like medieval torture. I'm like awake holding my dad like screaming like, ah, ah. Like I wanted to punch a guy. And then that, that was like. Pretty much, that was painful. But that's Fuck, man. Wow. Yeah, that sounds horrible. <laughs> I also got on a prostate exam, and that just sucked ass. But why? I think the I think this great thing happened. Yeah, why did you do a prostate? Because I had uh, hemorrhoids and shit. And I just wanted, like, but I was like scared, so I wanted to give me extra sure. And that kind of relates back to her question. Prolapse Sorry to get fucking anus. too much. I've, 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 had, I've had that before too, though. Yeah, but I didn't have a prolapse anus. anus. The fuck? Yeah, that's, when get, that's when your yeah, asshole opens. Yeah. Yeah. That's when your asshole pops out of your ass because you get fucked too much. Yeah, but you, you got a prostate over. exam for your hemorrhoids? Bro, only sluts and gay guys get that. A prolapse anus? Literally. Mm. Like, you could, that's just literally. Or, or weightlifters having like. Oh, a that's just actually true. From squatting too heavy, your asshole can pop out of your body. Yeah. That's why I literally don't even bother hitting lower legs, bro. Fuck that shit. What were you going to say, PJ? Yeah, okay, that's why. It is, bro. It's injury. That's for the birds, bro. That's for the birds. You're not lazy when you're fucking benching 315. Sorry, go ahead, PJ. I know I had a colonoscopy for the hemorrhoids too, man, because I was shitting blood. and like, damn, I got to gotta get this checked out. But I, I yeah, got to worse than a, That's even worse than what I got. You got you got fucked by a camera, boy. Yeah, but I was able... I was giving, like, zannies and stuff. Like, you know, I wasn't done raw dog like you, man, you know? Mm. Still though, you got like penetrated, dude. I got like the circumference, oh dude. Just put, dude, you fucking a robot had sex with you, right? Well, mine was more concerned, man. I had a finger only. I had a finger only. That's it. Mm-hmm. So they were just in the talking stage. My <laughs> my worst injury is. Is when I visually witness Kevin get that thorn in his. Uh, Bro, what? No, shut the right? fuck up. Get the fuck out of here. What was your your own fucking person? I don't know. Maybe my heart. What happened to your heart? It got broken. I'm broken. <laughs> no, for real. Being when I was 12 years old. I've been gay for real. I don't know, man. I can't think of my worst injury. I'll tell you, you know you don't live life on the edge. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of just vibe. <laughs> you kind of just vibe. I don't really, you know. All right, let's break your arm right now. You need an injury. Go yeah. for it. 
<laughs> on camera for views. I come back. Bro, that shit will blow up on TikTok. <laughs> oh, yo, that actually would blow up. I don't know. Uh, my worst injury. I always injure myself playing sports. That's about it. Okay, you don't even play that. sports. Uh, yeah. What do we got next? Wait, what was PJ's again? Uh, so mine, because I just brought up the hemorrhoids. That's not my worst injury, because that's not an injury. Yeah, I'll say. But, uh, yeah, during my first job, uh, I was fucking, because I worked at a gymnastics gym. Last day, I was just kind of fucking around doing flips on a trampoline. I stopped paying attention. I went to a backflip and wasn't flipping. So I tried to go catch myself, and I broke both the bones in my arm, dude. Oh, and I fucking shit. messed up my rib cage. I know my worst How injury. How long did that recovery take? Uh, like eight weeks, man. And then I had to go like laser oh, therapy. I don't know why I thought that would be like six months. Like, eight weeks. No, because the bones twisted when it happened. And when I went to do the x-rays, they accidentally like untwisted them, man. It was fucking Fuck. painful, dude. Oh, that sounds yeah. hard. All right, I know mine now. So when I was a kid, uh, my aunt and uncle lived, my tío and tía lived on a farm in Kendall. And they had horses and shit. And uh, it was Noche Buena. And I was like wandering the farm by myself. And I looked through one of the peepholes of the horse shed. And he kicked me right in the eye. Oh, I thought you were going to say you went out like Superman and you were riding in this shit and you fucking got thrown out. Oh that's my God. Yeah, he got fucked over. That's nah, that shit kicked me right in the eye. And bro, I had that's a fun. black eye for like a month. Surprised surprised you didn't get knocked out. Dude, those kicks, they kick hard. Sure, yeah, they're fucking powerful. Kid. Oh, I thought you don't remember getting unconscious? I just remember looking through and getting hit. Yeah. Damn, that's fucked. Um, and then we went and we watched the fake Santa thing on the internet of him flying over Miami. <laughs> He's over day that morning. I didn't know it was a thing. I never, never did I that. Never heard that either. <laughs> you guys, your parents did it. Wow, you guys had horrible childhood. Why not live in Daddy? At Noche Buena, so. our parents would always Google like the fa- the fake Santa tracker, and it shows him flying like on a map. The fuck. And it shows him over like Miami. I didn't have that technology. I don't know where you. That were. ruins the magic. Or your uncle never came out in like a fucking Santa suit. Dude, my uncle came out drunk, <laughs> and doing bumps from the bathroom. Love <laughs> well, it. Dude, why is Santa bleeding out of his nose? Guys, like your uncle didn't come out of Santa. No, <laughs> dude, I'm no. We're Cuban, bro. We had Noche Buena, dog. My, first of all, you know my brother's such a dickhead. My brother ruined Santa for me. This the minute I was able to talk or even like have consciousness of thinking, he straight up told me, "Yeah, by the way, Santa's not real. Mom and Dad buy the gifts." But I took it like a champ. He told me, "He's like, bro, you didn't even care because you still got gifts." So I was like, "Oh, for sure." Wow, what a whack ass childhood. That's funny, bro. <laughs> Perks of having an older brother. You didn't, you can't relate. It's horrible. You're like, mommy, why does Santa have to blow into a tube before getting in his car? Bro, when motherfuckers were watching Ninja Turtles. This guy was making me watch South Park. Like, it's fucked. Wow, you're so cool. No, it's not cool. It's not cool at all, actually. You yeah, but you don't it. understand what you're watching when you're watching like South Park. Eh, you'd be edit. surprised, bro, because I would repeat a lot of this shit. Like, it's cool, like it, that's no, why no. I fucked with Kevin because he was yeah. the only one, one of the only ones watching at the time. Yeah, at least he like didn't care at all. Yeah, didn't care. Well, no, the thing is, he had Charlie, an older brother too. Yeah. yeah. All right, we'll keep moving on. Carlos, you got the last one. Hey there, Alaya. How's it like from Georgia? Age twenty-seven. Uh, nice. hey y'all. Uh, I, that was beautiful, right? That was yeah, it's great. Uh, we'll edit that. <laughs> <laughs> we'll, we'll cut that one out. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, Aliyah from Georgia. Take two. Hey, uh, hey uh, I just finished watching the new... Oh my god, this is going to be sweet. I love this. I was just talking about this. Hey, uh, I just finished watching the new Velma series. I have to say it's one of the best shows I've ever seen. I like all the character redesigns, and I'm glad they got rid of the annoying dog. I don't see why everybody has a problem with it. I think Mindy Kaling is a genius. Can you honestly tell me what's wrong with the show? Love, Aliyah. P.S. I don't expect you guys to like Velma series because it wasn't made for your demographic. Whoa. I'm interested to see what your take is. I also think Carlos is really cute. And I want to ride him like the last train out of Poland, WWE, uh, whatever the Are fuck. You is an idiot, bro? <laughs> <laughs> WWE two, I mean, World War two. Hit me up if you think you can handle the Chocolate Thunder. Fuck you. That that won't even. Fuck you. That show is horrible, bro. That shit pissed me off so much. Wait, can we just... And I saw that shit how you said WWE for... WWE. <laughs> Listen yeah. to me. World Ride uh, Wrestling Federation. Listen to me. Listen to me. That show was horrible, bro. That show was literally so bad. We're talking about fun. You know what I just don't get? Like, why not just make it uh, its own show? Like, why do you have to get an IP and then just completely shit on it and change it and make it... Like, what show is this? I've never even known. So they, they redid uh, Scooby-Doo. It's a spin-off of Scooby-Doo. Velma, the, the lead. The, bro, the glasses? They made, yeah, Velma, black now. they made Velma a stupid bitch and they made Velma and Shaggy black and, like, super offensive and, like, Shaggy, like, sells drugs in one of the episodes. The, Daphne's a stupid bitch. Of course, they made the She's white... Asian now. No, and, of course, they made the white guy with the ascot, uh, Fred or whatever. They yeah. made him the fucking complete retard like, like a an idiot. man yeah uh, and then and then she's like the whole point of the show is that she i hate it i hate everything about it i just and you know why i hate it because again i hate people getting ips for a cash grab and then ruining like bro that show would have been cool if you would have named it if you would have named it teenager fucking whatever the fuck and made it its own like little cartoon like why do you have to say it's scooby-doo or a so velma's the ip 
Yeah, yeah. but it's all it's all Scooby, Scooby Doo Doo characters Doo. except yeah. for Scooby Doo. Like it really dumb as fuck. Oh, so they got away with and they like, made everything gay. Oh, characters. of course she's bl- uh, she's lesbian and she has a crush yeah. on Daphne. They made everything gay and black. Like they do everything now in Hollywood. It's fucking ass. Critical race shit. theory, man. Crap. Yeah. Huh. It's crap. It wasn't made for your demographic, but I'm... Yeah, what's my fucking demographic? I also think straight white men, because I'm not even white. <laughs> Wait, so you hate this girl that says she wants to ride? I don't, I don't like hate her. I, I don't, I don't hate her. I hate yeah, her man. shitty... She wants her, to give you the chocolate thunder. I hate... I, I love uh, black women. I hate her shitty fucking take. That's How do you what? know this lady's black? She just said chocolate thunder. Yeah. Fucking idiot. You can, oh, can't handle this chocolate thunder. That fat black ass. I love a big fat black booty. <laughs> but uh, preferably one with not a shitty take. PJ, what do you think? Um, Again. dude, I didn't watch it, but yeah, I agree with what, what Carlos is saying. Cause well, until, you don't have to take it like an existing IP and make it shit. Like you, you got to make your own thing, thing dude. Yeah. Yeah. Could have done the same shit. Like why have you? Why say Scooby Doo? Like why say Scooby Doo just to piss off the fans that actually enjoy it? Hmm. I said it always does feel like they're antagonizing white people, man, and I can't uh, get behind. That's it, another man. thing. Like every movie now, the white guy's a fucking idiot. The the black guy saves the day. Like uh, come on, bro. This is getting yeah. weird. It's getting weird out here. I don't like it. I haven't but seen it. I don't no. like it. I saw the first two episodes. That's correct, Matt. You ha- you've heard nothing about this. I've like, heard nothing about it. Was it on Netflix? Yeah, Matt's very. Uh, he's he's uh, a. That's good though. That's good. I'm so glad you haven't heard about it. Bro. <laughs> yeah. That's good. Like that's honestly awesome. Like. Oh, it's like a cartoon. Yeah, yeah of bro. course. Bro, I literally it's thought it was like real people. Oh man, that'd be even worse. <laughs> and then she's bad at math too. But what? Like, and then she's it's what, it's and then they just made her black for the sake of being black. Like, just make your own black characters. Like, why get a character that was white and turn it black? How is it Shaggy, man? Like, Bro, he's playing with Shaggy. Ice Cube. Bro. Yeah, they fucked this up, Bro. man. Is it at least like a good? Like, is there a good comment? And they had to make no. Velma, they said it's bad. No, then they had to make Velma a lesbian. It was crazy. Really. Yeah, Bro, I don't know why they funny, do it, dude. I guess it's being more inclusive, but nobody oh, likes yeah. it, man. So it's what, like, what were like the ratings? Like, what do people say? Bro, about it? it's, it's the bad. lowest it's rated show bad. of all time on IMDb. I'm not even exaggerating. It's literally the lowest. It got Oops. watch Google that lowest rated show on IMDb. Just Google lowest rated Let's show. Let's put a Velma show. It'll say, uh, look, all one stars. No, Oof. it's it's, it's it, but uh, uh, it'll show you that that's like, that that's the lowest rated uh, cartoon of all time. The Emoji Movie is the greatest cinema. IMDb movie. one point three out of ten. Oh, that's the lowest cartoon. Oh, Mindy Kaling is vulnerable. Which gives me hope. Which gives me hope for humanity. It means that people didn't like it. It would be worse if people were like, oh my god, it was great. It would have been bad if it did. What Debbie Ryan? Fucking Dennis is Fred Jones, too. Oh my god, I love fucking Dennis, too. That What's love, it from? That he's always it's sunny. Always, oh, yeah, he hasn't oh, seen yeah. It's Always Sunny, man. You've never yeah, seen yeah. that? That's, yeah. like, that's like the most... There's a lot of shows that haven't It's seen the most bro. fucked up version of Friends. Like, think of Friends, but yeah, fucked up. If they were all, like, backstabbing sociopaths. I don't know how it's doing... This number on Rotten Tomatoes, because bro, because you know that that shit is fake. That website's ran by. Libs. Oh, but that's that's critics though. The audience gave it six percent. No, but that's my point. The critics are liberals that fucking that are all gay and black. So they're yeah, frick the critics, man. Wow. All right, we got one more, right? No, that's it. Oh, that's it. Yeah. Uh, read us out, man. All right, that's it. How we doing? We got anything else or no? No more. I know oh, that's it, man. All right. Like that was episode one, season two. Thank you guys for listening. PJ, in. you won our, though. You won this round of stand up bits. Yeah, yeah. we're gonna. You know, we should do that every weekend. Just bring a different bit and just see who has the best one. Like for shits and gigs, like a stupid yeah. one. We'll yeah, one that we're gonna use. This time next week, we'll already have. I'll already have done my first stand up. These guys will be in the crowd. So. Which uh, yeah. we could actually even have some footage for you guys up. Cause yeah, that could be a video of the week. That could be a video. No, I'm gonna record. That'd be video. I'm, I'm recording yeah. everything. So that's fine. I'll okay. record. Uh, I don't care if you care. I don't care if you care. Anyway, I don't think anybody cares if you guys care. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Next week we'll do this. We'll do this every week. We'll have a, a new segment, a new joke every fucking week. Yeah. But yeah, that's it. Good episode. Love you guys. Thanks for following. Uh, like, subscribe, everything. And we'll talk to you guys next week. Thanks for watching. <laughs>